with summer is all about vacation in my brain. Tired of these same old faces, I need someone brand new. Someone I can laugh and love with and tell my secrets to. I'm looking for a friend. of life to see in so little time It's back to school before I know and my summer's all behind And there's no fun to be alone when the sun is going down Hey God, if you're listening won't you send someone around I'm looking for a friend I'm looking for a friend Hi, kid. Hey, you don't belong back here. You lost? No. Yeah, yeah, lost. Oh, lose your folks, huh? Come on, I'll show you how to get out the front side. Must be great working here all day long. I mean, with all the fish and everything. Not all fish. Animals, too. Animals? Lots of animals. Lots of animals. Uh, uh... Joey. Joey? Hi, I'm Louie. Are you the trainer? I'm the best darn fisherman in the whole wide world. In America, anyway. <laughs> Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, our next show in 10 minutes will be the other one. That's why we get them, all the fishes. And I catch all the fish, I told you. Did you see the whale? Yeah, you like them, huh? Who catches the fish? I catch the fish because I'm the greatest fisherman in the whole world, I told you. Uh, maybe in America. Did you catch the whale? Yeah, I caught the well. Yeah, hi, Louis. Hiya, Frank. Hey, you kid. What do you want to say? Yeah.
Hello there, folks. This is your diver speaking from the bottom of the tank right in front of you. I am starting to feed some of the fish here, and they know it's feeding time. Watch them gather around. We have thousands of fish in this tank and over several hundred varieties. There are Garibaldi, and here comes a turtle. There are sand sharks over there. He's a shy fellow, and we have a giant battery. Watch him go by. There's your fish, Louie. I'll see you. Get back in here again. Can I help you unload the truck? Why do you keep coming back in here? You're going to get in trouble. I want to get a job here. I want to be like you. Like me? I want to work here at Marineland. I want to be a trainer. I like fish, and they like me. So you want a job, huh? Well, let's see what I can do. Are you strong? I'm real strong. Look. Look. Feel that muscle. Hey, that's pretty good. You're strong. Real strong. Hey, Louie. Who's your new helper? Oh, he's my friend, Joey. He wants to work here. You think we get him a job? I don't know. We get applicants from all over the world. It takes a great deal of training to work here. You're kind of short, aren't you? Might as well do it, Doc. Give him a job, because we keep throwing him out, and he keeps coming back in. You're the one they talk about. You keep sneaking in, they keep checking you out, and you keep sneaking back in? Okay, you want a job, huh? All right. We'll put you to work, and if you can handle it, we'll see about a steady job. You really mean it? I can work here? Sure. Sure, I'll tell you what. Take this fish into the shed. It's a lot of heavy work for a strong young man. Do you think We'll work him so hard for the next two or three hours, he'll get sick of this place, he won't want to see it again. I'm not so sure about that, Doc. Anyone who wants to work that bad, maybe he'll do it. He wants to be a trainer. He wants to be like me. Well, he could do worse. You're the best darn fisherman I know. Well, the best darn fisherman in the whole world. In America, America anyway. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Come on, girl. as we can, he'll get so sick of the place he'll never want to come back. You understand? I got what you mean, Doc. I'll have him hauling fish up here, and he won't want to see another fish as long as he lives. <laughs> hey, young fellow. Stand back over here now. What's your name? Doc. 
Joseph. They call me Joey. Can I pet him? Mm. Well, there's one thing you gotta understand about you, Joey. All these animals and fish are potentially dangerous. They don't know you. You don't know them. So one of the rules around here is that you don't go near any of the animals in any of the tanks unless you're accompanied by someone in charge. Understand? He doesn't look very dangerous. Oh, you don't think so? Come here. Come on, Corky. Come on. That's it. Wow, what big teeth! Huh? Well, we've never had an accident here in Greenland, Joey. And the reason for that is we're careful, even with the animals that know us. Well, they wouldn't mean to hurt us, but... Well, that whale weighs several tons, and if he were to bump you against the side of the tank, or you were to fall in, and he were to give you a little playful nudge, well, it'd be the equivalent of getting hit by a truck. So we just don't take any chances, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, you go on back down to Louie, and you bring up some more fish up there, okay? Okay. Come on. Good night, gentlemen. We had pretty good business today, didn't we? Uh, it was a pretty good crowd today, Joy. Good night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, okay. You go straight home now. You be a good boy now. Go straight home. Hello. Who? Oh, yes, Joey's aunt. Yes, we did say you could work here. You see? No, uh, everything worked out fine. <laughs> it's perfectly all right. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. In just five minutes, our next attraction, the whale show featuring Bubble and her friends. Hey, that boy, I got a call from his aunt. Looks like we didn't get rid of him yesterday. He's coming back. <laughs> Doc, I'd have given you a hundred to one odds if boys were back. Ah, you're not going to get rid of him that easy. He likes it around here. <laughs> See you later, Doc. Come on. Looking good. These two new ones are going to work out fine in the act. Yeah, they're getting the routines faster than I thought. They've been tested for intelligence quotient yet. I don't think so. They seem a lot brighter than the others we've got now. I think they're much higher on the scale than some of the other animals we've brought in. Good thing. Let's put them to the test and find out. Here we go. Ah, the boy. How would you like an assistant to help you with the training? Joey here wants to be a trainer. Hi, I'm Joey. I'm Ben. Good men in this field. <laughs> That's why I'd be here. Hey, listen, sir. I thought you're, you're, you're in a little call. I told him it was all right for you to be here. But, uh, but this is a trial period, huh? Uh, I know you've got a couple of weeks before you go back to school. This will give you a chance to get used to our operation. Let's see, let's see how you get around, huh? It's all right with me. Okay, keep an eye on him. Huh? I told his aunt he wouldn't get hurt. Here you go. See you at lunch. Go ahead and feed him, Joey. This is Joey, W.C. Oh, 
<laughs> really? Well, in that case, why don't you be one of the stars of our show? This is Pete. Pete, this is Joe. Hi. I work here now. Hey, would you like to give him a fish, Joe? Sure. Okay. Pete, why don't you come on out here and meet our friend? Okay, now, from right there, Joe. Right there, now, you just toss the fish into Pete's mouth. Now, he won't hurt you, but he might accidentally close down. Have you seen those teeth, huh? Eh? Uh, He's pretty well armed, all right? Okay, okay, Pete. Back in the water, back in the water. And a boy, and a boy. Now, do it if you'd like to make him jump. Now, here's how you do it. Okay. Here he comes. <laughs> Dick, you take over, and I'll show Joey around. Hey, listen, it's time for the show now. Would you like to watch from here, or do you want to watch from the other side? I've seen the show from over there. Mom has brought me lots of times. I'll watch from over here. That's okay with me. Seems how you wanted the family around here. Well, maybe it's better if you do watch from over here. Hey, you remember him? Sure. He rides in the boat. And they pull him around in the show. That's right. Captain Crunch. He started hearing me just a little tough. Look at him now. Wow. Come on, we gotta go. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the Sea Arena. And now, let's bring along the warm welcome, the world's foremost sea lion trainer, Captain Art Thomas and his famous California sea lion. On the first seat, we have Queenie, and on the second seat, we have Mr. Peanut. Sea lions are not natural balancers. They must be taught to do so. All right, there's a nice little reward.
comes Flash going up and through the first ring. All right, Flash retires once again from the opposite side. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Flash the Fearless. interested in as a future trainer at Marine Lab. What is it? Wait and see. Let's just say it's a it's a rather big surprise. No, no, come on, come on. What do you mean a big surprise? You just wait and see. Oh, hello, Doc. Just the man I'm looking for. Monahan, I'd like to meet Joey. Joey, this is Mr. Monahan, the real boss. The man that really runs this place. Hello, Joey. You know, when he gives me a build-up like that, I know he wants something. Glad to meet you, Mr. Monaghan. Nice to be working for you. Yeah. Working for me? Oh, yeah, I was, uh, was going to explain about that. Yeah, I know you will. You come up to the office later. Oh, by the way, I want to report on that dolphin rescue project. Navy wants to know how it's coming along. Oh, I'll get it all together and bring it up. It's nice meeting you, Joey. Keep up the good work. I'll see you later, Doc. So long. Whoa. Did you know that uh, killer whales have been known to tear through ice to get at seals and polar bears? I thought sharks were the most dangerous things in the ocean. No, no, I, I'd say killer whales because of their enormous size and strength, plus a pretty good set of teeth. That rates them as the most voracious killer in the ocean. They've been known to attack everything. Steels, forebears, even men in boats. The uh, Eskimos used to go hunting in their kayaks in the old days, in the, their skin boats, and they'd hunt anything except the killer whale. The killer whale was too much for them to handle. Can you really train them here? I mean, do they really get tamed so they're not dangerous? Well, any wild animal is potentially dangerous. And they're, they're not uh, tame, they're trained. They're not tame in the sense that your dog and cat is tame. Now, you remember that. That's the biggest fish I ever saw. I'll bet that's the biggest fish anybody ever caught. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mammal, Joey, but not a fish. It's a mammal. They just happen to live in, in the ocean. They breathe air just like you and I do. They don't have uh, gills like a fish is. Are you telling the truth? You're kidding. No, no, that's the truth. They, they, they could drown if they didn't come up for air and breathe. They're like all the rest of the animals. Seals, the walruses, the porpoises. They're air breathing. They're not fish. Okay, we better back out of the way. Get hit in the head by a sling. Hey, kid, I don't think he understands you. Oh, sure he does. Animals understand you if you talk to them nice. One of the trainers told me that if you feed the animals and you talk to them, they get to know you. Then they know that you're feeding them and taking care of them. Then they get friendly towards you. Okay, but I don't care what you say. Look at those teeth. He ain't never gonna be friendly. Not to Louie, and I ain't gonna give him the chance. Well, it works. They told me it works. I'll bet you I can make friends with that whale if I feed him every day and I'm nice to him. I'll bet you he likes me. You ever hear of Moby Dick, the white whale? He bit off Captain Ahab's leg, and it was a whale just like that. So you think about that, or you'll be walking around like Captain Ahab with a pegged leg.
right? A Big Mac, fries, and what's a drink? A Coke, please. Great. One Big Mac, fries, and a Coke. I gotta hurry. I'm on my lunch hour for work. That's so? Cool. Where do you work? Marine Line. I'm assistant trainer. Really? An assistant trainer? Well, kind of. I help with the animals and I feed them. Whoops. Here's your order. Now, is that fast enough for you? Great. <laughs> Change? Now you come back again, okay? Oh, and good luck on your job. Thanks. Bye. Hi, fella. No, this is my now. Besides, who ever heard of a whale eating french fries? Uh-uh. I don't eat your fish, you don't eat my fries. difficult for him, Meg. Well, now, do you know what I have to put up with? You're gone all day. And since we moved down here near... time I saw him, he was down by the Geronimo getting it ready. Is he going out to fish? Yeah, I did hear somebody say they were going out on some kind of expedition for some new specimens. Hey, where are you going? Hiya, fella. How you getting along? Sorry. Don't have anything for you. Well, I guess I won't be seeing you for a while. Goodbye.
account of my aunt. Oh, that's bad. My aunt makes us dangerous. She says I'll get hurt. I wish somebody could talk to my mother about it. Why don't we get Doc to talk to your mother? He'll tell her it's all right. We'll take care of you. I'm sure it'll be okay. You really think he talked to my mom? Sure. I asked him to. Come on, let's go. Ah. That was great. Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. There you go. needs help. What's the matter, Joey? Dr. Frederick, it's my Aunt Meg. Well, Joey, if your Aunt Meg isn't feeling well, I don't think a marine biologist can help. It wouldn't hurt, but it wouldn't help. I treat animals, fish, not people. No, Doc. She's not sick. She's mad. She doesn't want Joey to work here. She's afraid he'll get hurt. But that's ridiculous. That's what I told my mom. Dr. Frederick, would you talk to my mother on the telephone? Oh. Joey, I... I don't know about my persuasive powers with women, but for you, I'll do it. That's great. She's at work, and I know the number. Oh, right now, I'll call. What's the number? Flint, 51200. Uh, get me plasma. 51200, please. Yeah, uh, who do I ask for? What's her name? Anne. Mrs. Ann Fields. Uh, uh, Mrs. Ann Fields, please. I don't know if this is going to work, Joey. Want I should talk to her, Doc? Uh, uh, no. It's okay, <laughs> Louie. I'll give it a try. Uh, Mrs. Fields, this is uh, Dr. Fredericks from Marine Land. It's about Joey. No, no, no. He, he, he's fine. It's just that he, he came down and uh, told us that you told him he couldn't work here anymore because you were afraid he'd get hurt. Well, I, I, I'll tell you what, Mrs. Fields. Uh, why don't you come down here and take a tour of the facilities? I'll show you around, and, and you can make up your own mind. Great. Uh, lunch, lunchtime will be fine. Thank you, Mrs. Fields. What did she say? Well, she said she'd come down on a lunch hour. And I told her we'd show her around and explain how very, very careful we are. And that's all I can do, Joey. That's great, Doc. You really did great. You'll convince her. I know you will. Come on, Louis. Let's go to work. Okay, let's go, Joey. <laughs> Silly game you play, I've seen it all along. You just put them on, they don't know you like I do. Be careful about who you call your friend. We're the school guys, they're the bad guys round the bend. But the never. 
Cause you're just like me We look strong and see you through You figured out all wrong It's just a silly game you play I've seen it all along They don't know you like I do Just don't know you like I do Good morning, ma'am. May I help you? Uh, yes, I'm Mrs. Fields. I'm here to see uh, Dr. Frederick. Oh. He's expecting me. Oh, just a moment, please. <laughs> yes, ma'am. He's on his way down. Won't you wait inside, please? Thank you. Uh huh. This isn't an imposition, is it? Oh, no, 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 no. My pleasure. I'm very fond of Joey. But can I show you around? Yes, thank you. <laughs> These fish are really quite delicate. We have to be very careful about the chemical content and the temperature of water. Bon Slight mistake, but we could lose thousands and thousands of dollars of expensive fish. I didn't realize there was so much involved in just having an aquarium. Well, green is a little more than an aquarium. I think you pamper them. That's what we try. Come on, I'll show you where Joey's work. That's a killer whale, isn't it? It's the strangest marking. You gotta admit that nature did an unusual job. It doesn't even look real. Oh, oh it's real. I mean, it looks like one of those rubber animals that they use in parades. Oh, yeah. It's become quite tame. Handling. Excellent. It's come around. It's gonna be one of our star performers. Bob? Where's Joey? Yeah, he and Louie are at the seal arena. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, let's go see what's going on at the seal arena. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. We have a lost little boy at the information desk in the main lobby. His name is Billy Thompson. Oh, John, let's see. I don't think that's a lot of your time. Lion, John. Sometimes I'm not out of here till 8, 9 o'clock at night. Doesn't your wife object to such long hours? No problem. I'm not married. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Dolly. Ah, 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 ah. Come on, Dolly. Ah. Hey, that's pretty good. You're going to make a fine trainer, I can tell. You've got a way with animals. Isn't that what I said? Hey, don't get smart. I didn't mean it that way. I just meant I like the animals, and they like me. Yeah, very good. Come on, darling. Come on, darling. Come on. Get the ring. Oh, one more, Dolly. One more. Very good, 
Come on. Very good. Come on. Very good. Ah, uh, you get up. Very good, Dolly. Very good. Gee, I, I guess I'd better grab a bite to eat and run. I'll tell you what. I'll take you to the galley west. I know the nature tree rather well. We can get served right away. See you later, Joey. Mom, come back anytime. Just tell them you know me, and they'll let you in. Hey, your mom's a good-looking woman. Oh, I guess she's all right. I think the doc thinks so, too. You think so? Oh, I know so. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, give me a kiss. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Push it. Push it. Ah! Ah! I can't swim. Help! Help me! Jolie! Help me! I can't swim. Help me! to tell everybody you ever hear of a fisherman who could swim? Oh. Hey, Joey, that's the last time I'll play ball with that seal. Come on, Louie. I'll take you back over and you better get some straight clothes on. Okay, let's go. And that's when uh, Meg moved in with us uh, to take care of Joey. And I went back to work. Oh, my gosh. What's mine? Speaking of work, look at the time. I'll be lucky if I have a job to go back to. Well, I didn't notice the time going by. Thank you, Trent. And thank you for the lunch. And thank you for Joey. Thank you for everything. And swimming. It's real easy to learn. Yeah, not at my age. Too late. Can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, I can swim. I bet I can teach you. Huh? You teach me. Well, I just meant. Hello? Hey, Louie. The captain wants you on the Geronimo right away. Some blues have been spotted in the channel, and they want to try to capture some. Okay, thanks. By golly, now you'll see something. This is my kind of work. We're going fishing. Fishing? Oh, Let's boy. go. I guess the time slips by when you're in good company. I really have to rush. Tell Joey everything's all right. Mm -hmm. He'll be relieved.
Two members of the crew. We're gonna drag them on the back of the boat for shark bait. Can't you take a joke? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you look mighty small for a sailor. What was the name of your last vessel? Uh, Captain. Uh, speak up, boy. Speak up. I'm not really a sailor. What? You're not a sailor and you wanted to sail on my vessel? Well, I can learn. Well, I don't know. Everybody had to learn sometime, didn't they? Got you there, Cap. I'm not afraid, and I can swim. Well, good. If you can swim, we'll take you along to look after Louie. Not just a minute, Captain. Well, let's shove off, crew. Those old blues won't wait all day for us. Yes, sir. <laughs>
Well, why'd you scare us half to death? Are you telling the whole truth? Yes, that man. All right. All right, but I'm going to have a talk with that Dr. Frederick. Oh, Mom. Now, that's enough of it. You get in and set the table. Now, I know what you're going to say. Well, what are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going to go out to Marine Land, and I'm going to have a talk with Dr. Frederick. Well, what does he look like? Not bad. A family man? No. As a matter of fact, he's not married. He isn't. Well, that's what he told me. Well, I wonder why he told you that. Now, look, Meg, don't go getting any ideas. Okay. Hey, do you know Dr. Fredericks is looking for you? He wants you up in the lab. Really? Yeah. Where have you been? All over with the new whale. He and I are good friends. I told you to stay away from that killer whale. He's no good. Nah, we're pals. I kind of said that I've got this tongue. Listen, if I see you around that dangerous well again, I'll pat your head and scratch your tongue. Now, you get up to Dr. Fredericks in the lab right away. Okay. See you later, Louie. Okay, Joey. might be interested in. You know what that is? Looks like an octopus made out of ice. <laughs> hey, Joey, that's exactly what it is, or almost. It's an octopus, and it's been chilled with ice. That's how they ship them. Doesn't it kill him? No, no, he's very much alive. And, and we're gonna, we're gonna bring him back. We're gonna wake him up. I thought you might like to help. How do I do that? I'll show you. First of all, we put them in this, this tank here. Come in. We work them up to where he starts breathing again. See? Massage him like that. Hey, grab a hole. As soon as he starts to breathe, he'll come back. Come here, grab a hole. That's it. Come on, don't be afraid. If you're going to be a marine biologist, you've got to learn to handle everything. And that's very good. There he comes. Look at that. Look at that. Doc, look at him. Yeah? Well, that's a good sign, Jimmy. See, he's coming back to life. Look, you see the way he's holding on? He's coming back. He's going to be all right. There we go. Ah, well, that's enough of that. You're going to have quite a bit to tell the kids at school, aren't you? I sure am. Uh, what is it? A couple of weeks from now? Yeah. Here you go. 
I've been having so much fun, I almost forgot all about it. Gee, Dr. Frederick, I can learn so much here with Louie, and you've been so nice to me. Yeah, well, I, I, I enjoy having you here. I, I like to watch you work with the animals. It's a chance to rediscover, through your eyes, the love of life and ecology that I have. I see myself in you, Juliet, at your age. I just wish someone had given me the opportunity that you have. We grow up too soon, Joey. In a little while, this will be your world. And you got to be equipped to take care of it. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think so. <laughs> you will. Look like around you at all the living things. And say, this is my world. I'm going to do the best I can to take care of it. Alright. After that, I'm hungry. I'll buy a cold drink and a hot dog as soon as I change and wash up, okay? Okay. Young man? Yes, ma'am. May I help you? You know a little boy who works here named Joey? Oh, yes, ma'am. Well, I'm his aunt. He forgot his jacket this morning, so I brought him to him. Now, where can I find him? Oh, let's see now. I saw Joey a little earlier with uh, Dr. Frederick. Oh, well, that's fine. Now, will you tell me how to find him? And I'm sure the doctor can direct me to Joey. Yes, ma'am. Step over here, please. Now, through this door right in side there, you'll see a booth inside the door. And they can direct you to Dr. Frederick's office. Well, thank you very much. You've been a big help to me. Yes, ma'am. Anytime. Thank you. 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 Thank
Come back. Do something. Please, do something. I'll call the Coast Guard and radio our ship for Geronimo. Come on. Have you heard from the Coast Guard? No, not yet. Quite looking for a needle in the haystack. This time of year, the fog settles in between Catalina and here. Oh, why don't they find him? I just had a feeling something like this was going to happen. And I was right. I should have kept him at home. It's not their fault. And Joey was just afraid. Afraid that we were going to take him home, that we weren't going to let him come back. Did you hear what happened to the kid? Yeah, I heard. Hi, Doc. What can I do to help? Now you and Louie get on the Geronimo. Make some sweeps. You'll be carried up the sea. The tide was running out at the time. Call his name. Eh? Keep calling. The helicopters are not coming. The Coast Guard said it would be impossible in this fog. Well, now, don't you folks worry. We'll find him before he has a chance to get hungry. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get cracking. You take it easy. We'll find him. He's OK. I'm sure of it. You coming with me? I'm shoving off. These boys know the channel here at Marineland better than anybody in the world, including the Coast Guard. Hey, Doc, Bob here has come up with an idea. Do you know the boat that the kid's using is the same one that we've been using in our testing with the dolphins? Well, what do you think? Well, the dolphins have been trained to pick up the boat in this new test we have going on for down flyers. Yeah, I dig that idea. Go on. Why don't we send one of them out? Two of them to go after the boat. If anybody can find that boat, he can. Well, no problem. We've never tried it in open water before. I mean, the tank is one thing, but letting him loose in the ocean is another. I don't know. It's pretty dark out there. The kid's still out there. There's going to be a lot of traffic out there. I'll keep it down. I don't want the wind to here. All right, let's give it a try. Get one of the animals from the tank. I'll clear it with Monaghan. It's worth a try. Doc, let's go. Go 
find the boat. Go find Joey. Go find the boat. Go find Joey. Go find the boat. Go find Joey. There he goes. Now we find out if the training pays off. Sorry about the dolphin. Don't apologize. It's worth a try. Sorry it didn't work. Hey, Doc, the Geronimo's coming in. No sign of the boat. So small and in this fog. I don't know what your chances are of seeing him in the dark as you get to it. Well, I, I can't help but feel that the fog's gonna lift. We were getting some breaks and with a little luck. What? Thank you. 
be back on weekends. My mother and my aunt say I have to go to school. Even Doc thinks it's a good idea. You know, we're really gonna miss you around here. Yeah, we're all gonna miss you a lot. sure gave us a bad scare. Why'd you do such a thing? I thought my aunt was going to take me home. I don't know. I got in that boat and I got lost. Well, everything turned out okay. Kind of, but I won't be seeing you for a while. Well, if it's your aunt, I'll talk to her. No. School starts Monday. I go to school. Oh, yeah. You go to school. I want you to go to school and be smart. Because I don't want you to be a dumb fisherman like me. Best darn fisherman in the whole world. In America, anyway. <laughs> Joey! Come over here. I'm going up to the whale tank. Come on along with me. While you were gone, I moved your friend up on top. He's going to be one of the stars of the show. I knew you would make it. Hi, Estella. Hey, how about that? When did you start doing a fool thing like that? Oh, this tongue you two. He's my friend. Nice scratch up for him. Haven't I told... Oh, forget it. <laughs> well, fella, I won't be seeing you for a while. I gotta go back to school. Where are only fish went to school. Very fun. <laughs> I can earn more around here. Now, look. You remember what you said? I let you work here and you go back to school and you work hard, right? Right. Okay. I'm hungry. How about you? Me too. That's good. Cameraman and our photographer want to go in and shoot some pictures in the tank. Oh, is it okay? Sure, Miss Monahan, as long as it'll get in the way. What's wrong with him, Doc? I'll let you know tomorrow. 
tomorrow. our star, Doc. Will he be ready to work Saturday? I'll let you know whether he can work tomorrow as soon as I run this blood through a lab test. You, you sit down and eat your breakfast like a gentleman. I'm in a hurry. Saturday's a busy day in Marineland. Well, you're not in such a hurry that you cannot sit and eat your breakfast properly. Oh, darn it. Besides that, I don't think they're going to have too much time to bother with you today. Jack, uh, Dr. Fredericks said that they have a very sick whale on their hands. My whale's sick? He's not your whale, and yes, he's sick. Well, he's my friend, and I've got to go see him. Well, for heaven's sakes, who ever heard of having a whale for a friend? Well, he's my whale, and I need it down there. All right, all right. We'll drive you down, but first eat your breakfast. What you heard? I heard my friend is sick. Your friend? Yeah. Oh, oh, the whale. The eyes just not working today, that's all. <laughs> See if it works. Physically, he's fine. What's the matter with him, Doc? Is he going to be all right? Oh, it's, it's all right, Joey. It's nothing. It's just like people. Sometimes they don't feel like working. He doesn't feel so good because he isn't eating, and I caught his favorite kind of fish. Can I see him, please? He's my friend. Yeah, sure. Sure, it's okay. But don't be disappointed if he ignores you. Joe, 
He's my nephew. I'm his Aunt May. Oh. Okay, okay, you get a lot of fish. Looking for 